Am I opening my own Warhammer shop or do I have an addiction? Find out all that and more as I face my demons as we look at my rather gratuitous pile of shame. Look, all the YouTubers, do, they all do it. When you run out of ideas or you can't quite get your video done, do a pile of shame video. Trust me. Now, I don't know how severe this is going to be. I'm filming this before the intro, just so that I can go ahead and uh, be surprised with what I've got. Now, bearing in mind, uh, there are reasons for some of this stuff not being built yet, and there's plans for it. I'm going to talk that through as we go through. So let us begin, shall we? The first Christmas present this year, my wife said she wasn't going to get me any models, and she got me uh, the McFarlane paintable uh, action figure, which is wicked. I'm really forward to painting it, but it's now in my pile of shame. Two Adeptosaurus rhinos. I only own uh, two or three at the moment. I need another one for the Sisters of Silence for um, the Custodes Codex that just came out. So yeah, I decided to pick up two now and that means they're in the house for when I get a spare couple of hours just to build and begin the spray painting of it. So, and painting with an airbrush will make it nice and quick too. So I like to have them available, ready to go, even if my backlog is huge. And again, I'm gonna do all the things that haven't been built yet. Got plenty of stuff that needs painting <laughs> this is just to be built. One Imperium Premium Kit. So I am subscribed to the Imperium Magazine. This is uh, gonna be some Chaos Space Marines, uh, some Chosen, and a Sorcerer. And then in there is, I opened it up to have a look at the sprue, uh, the uh, Cryptech, the Technomancer that comes with one of the issues, and the painting handle. So that's the Imperium Premium Kit one that just came through in the post this week. Uh, flayed ones from the Imperium. Uh, I guess I will get around to actually updating my Necrons with the Imperium stuff when Necrons are more fun to play. The core update might have helped. And there's an Imperium with some more insult intercessors. We have Kill Team Octarius, but I've done all the terrain and the commandos, even if they're not fully painted. So what I'm gonna do, to be completely honest with it, I'm gonna get the... Uh, get the um, kill team sprues out for the Krieg and pop them there. Now some of my pile of shame is never gonna actually really get built. So here is a squad of Reavers that I've just used for bits. Uh, I used the hook shotgun I think it was and some of the helmets on my assault intercessors. So that's some Reavers that are never gonna get built. Battle Sisters kit bashed two sides out of them because I'd done the original sides wrong. They will eventually become sisters when I get around to it. Blood Angels Death Company already have a load of them. I will finish those five at some point, but the box is mainly for bits on my Death Company and Blood Angels conversions. Same story for the Sanguinary Guard. We've got some Sanguinary Guard that I'll probably build at some point, but mainly been used for conversions and bit pieces. This is all before I got a 3D printer that I got this. Uh, Missionary and Preacher kit bashed from this, so I've still got the rest of a Necromunda kit if I want four more bodies. Uh, made some Crusaders out of this, so I've still got some bodies there. And then this is a Primaris uh, Intercessor squad that I basically kit bashed three more soldiers out of to give power weapons to and didn't build the rest. They will get built eventually when I've been with Ultras or my Dark Angels or whatever my next faction will be, maybe White Scars or a nondescript red sub-faction that can be both White Scars and Iron Hands is probably what I will build my future Marines into. But yeah, there's some more of that. These are currently on my desk being built. So the Sergeant's built. So this is currently just got on the BB and that's why it's open. Currently just got on the BB and that's why it's open. Boys that I took a few bits out of for some get bashing, but they will become Storm Boys. I've just 3D printed some jetpacks. And then we've got the Death Killer War Trike that, oh, let me run and get the bits for that. This is a Star Wars Episode 1 uh, Sebulba um, pod racer that I'm going to, I got it from an Antiques Fair. I'm going to take the engines off and stick them on the front of the Death Killer War Trike, 3D print some rockets for the back, and then we've got a pod racing HQ. I'll try spinning, that's a good trick. This is a J-type space skiff. Again, another thing from an Antiques auction that was like three quid. So I picked it up because I'm going to, I don't know, hack it up or spray it yellow and make it into probably some sort of mega trap scrap jet or maybe a flyer. We'll see what I do with it. I built and painted most of the brood swarm. There is a uh, set of gargoyles in here. I'll be honest with you, I can't even bother to get that out because as you can hear, I've put loads of other bits that were left over. There's basically this giant bits box at the moment. So I'm not going to go rooting around for the spoon of the gargoyles, but some gargoyles as well. A big regret was Cursed City. Not a regret in the sense I've got it. Uh, let me close this cupboard before I walk into it. Uh, the Cursed City I picked up because, well, the models inside are fucking awesome. The rule set I'm watching them playthroughs I found kind of boring and dull. But I picked up Cursed City with the idea of playing the models in D&D. &D. Of course, that was very early in the pandemic, and here we are now. And I've never gone back to playing physical D&D &D with my D&D &D group, now that, like, restrictions are down. Uh, because, well, we all just picked up new hobbies. I, I started playing a lot more Warhammer than I do D&D. &D. Uh, so Cursed City sits unopened, which is quite embarrassing. I am about to open it soon though, 
and I'm going to use the Sword Lady that is on the front cover. I'm going to use her as the Sister of Silence HQ for the Custody. Necromunda Market Kit for Scatter Terrain and to just build a Kill Team board, basically. I'm quite excited to play a new Kill Team and the Marketplace is just really tickled my fans, so I picked them up. I got drunk over Christmas and used some Christmas money that someone sent me to buy what I thought was going to be the Railgun ship. I accidentally bought the, <laughs> just a Devilfish, not a Hammerhead. Look, I'm excited for the Railgun. It might be broken, it might not be, I don't know but I drunkenly ordered the wrong thing. Now, I picked up a load of Drakari for real cheap on eBay and I got some Scourges alongside those. Uh, I've checked the sprues, some bits to take off for Git Ration, but the whole set is there. Half a box of Battle Sisters. These are the old Battle Sisters, not the new. Uh, again, they were used for the Kit Bashing and changing for Retributors. That has basically got maybe four girls left in it. When I first built Custodes, I went and got a good auction eBay uh, buy, purchase of uh, two Flamer Squads and one Sword Squad of Sisters of Silence, but I never got any actual sisters. So here we did a pickup of three, as I got a discount on them, uh, Sisters of Silence ready for the new codex for new troops. So I got a cheap troop choice. I wanted some souvenirs from Forge World, so I picked up the Orc Warboss on Warbike and a Thousand Suns Dreadnought to stick some Volkites on. Uh, never got around to building it, never got around to playing Thousand Suns at an event actually in physical. I played Sisters of, Su Sisters of Battle and Blood Angels almost exclusively at events. I will be building that soon because it's a really cool model, but <laughs> to be fair, it's going to get <laughs> point fucking nerfed before I get to actually play with it at an event, but it's still a model that I want to build and paint. So I'm not sad about it. Uh, Alaris Custodian Terminators that I picked up at the very beginning of my EP Collecting Custodians. I only built three of the six, so I've still got three more to build there. And a spare box of Custodian Guard for kit bashing of things. This is probably two of them are going to become um, the, the swordy wizard men, the, the, the blade champ. My third Plague Burst Crawler. I never got around to building and painting the third one, but I will before I play Death Garden at event. I opened these to check for Ripper Swarms, but it's a fully, other than that, sealed box of uh, Termagants, that's gonna be part of my Tyranid army, but I put Tyranids on hold until the new codex is announced or coming. I got a free box of uh, Necron data cards, uh, spare. Not part of this, not part of the pile of shame, but it's just funny they got a sealed box of them because I got one free in an order. I don't know why, it just showed up. Kit bash bits and terrain with a Servitor, or Sector Mechanicus Galvanic Servo Haulers. And then we get to the real funny bit, which is, so Christmas has just been, right? It's January. Here's some stuff I got for Christmas last year that I still haven't done. So we got my third look as Heavy Destroyer to finish off a squad. So we got that. We got two Canoptic just Doomstalkers. Love the model, love Doom Cannons. They've been left behind by the fact that everything else is D3 plus three and these are D6. I hope they get erotted halfway through the, halfway through the uh, edition, honestly. Want to build and paint these, but the reason they've been set on my hobby shelf for so long is that I haven't got around to it because I want them all to look unique. These are mono pose, single like build, easy to build basically. And this is a lot of the problem with the modern uh, GW stuff, especially the really fancy models like these. So three of them in a row, including the base, all look the same. They've all got the same base details. Like there's this little bit of stone here. So I want to put ropes on them, put rags hanging off them, do something to make them look unique. And that makes them into a big project, and thus they just sit on a shelf and collect dust and will eventually be built. Uh, before I want to play um, Necrons in a battle report on the channel, uh, if you want to see a battle report from me, by the way, there's two that I've done so far. The last one I thought was pretty sick. Link to that in the description below. Um, or before I play them at an event. Uh, then I also have the ATV, my next ATV. Uh, I was going to build ATVs back at the beginning of the edition when they could be res by Apothecaries. I got caught on the hype train. I knew they didn't get nerfed, and I still went ahead and bought more. Silly me. So this is probably going to be kind of Dark Angels one when I, when I build them, or the successor, the nondescript red successor that can play as all these things. And then we've got a few more Plasma Inceptors, because I was hot for those for a while. Still am, to be honest. And then lastly, the Sith Edition shot, I've got Kill Team Chalmath. Um, yeah, this has got terrain in it, it's got the Sisters of Battle Novitiates, which are models that I absolutely fucking adore, and the very first Kill Team, or the very first Tau team squad that I'll have. Uh, picked them up because, well, just thought it was a good box. I just want to play a little more Kill Team as well. Uh, so that is my pile of shame. I have built and painted a lot of models over the last two years. I have picked up some of this stuff as combination auctions on eBay, or when I've seen things on sale, because I'm like a magpie. Um, yeah. And what sometimes happens is that I will have some months where I can take like my holiday week, right? And just smash out so many models. I've, I was a fast painter. I painted all my custodians very, very quickly. All my sisters very, very quickly. But then sometimes you pick up a few boxes and then a month comes up that's busy. I know it's preview season for Magic, for example. I just don't get to take the time off because I need to crack on with video content. You'll see on my channel sometimes I'm putting out multiple videos a day. So then I'll do no time off. <laughs> so I have time off to like heavy workload all day. Don't build anything. And then the next month rolls around and a new box set is out. Or there's a new model release. 
or new codex. So I pick up the new thing and sometimes I get it done, as evidenced by the armies I've got, and other times I don't. So this is my pile of shame. This is my... It looks like a magic... It looks like a Warhammer shop. Oh, we aren't finished. I forgot some. How about another 16 issues of Imperium? Yeah, this is more issues of Imperium. I will get around to it. I don't have a problem. You have a problem. I got some Forge World knobs on bike for cheaper on eBay. I've got a Venom there that's going to get kit bashed. It came as part of a Drakari lot on eBay, but I'm going to kit bash into a Robin Reliant style yellow orc vehicle. These are the only other model my wife got me for Christmas. She lied. These are six adventuring doggos. They're not Warhammer related, but I'm going to paint the Dachshun Sorcerer because Dachshuns are the best breed in the world. And lastly, I thought we had some more. One squig, one of them's already been kit bashed into my orcs. One pack of mega knobs, mainly for kit bashes, but I will build them as mega knobs. And then one set of killer cans, although I've used one of the bodies as part of a kit bash already. So that's another set of orc models. And that, my friends, is everything. That is my pile of shame. Do you think I've gone a bit mad? Bearing in mind, I've sold magic cards to pick up some of this stuff. I got sent some things as well. I actually have on sprue a load of Zangors, for example, that were sent to me. Um, some of the stuff that I actually ended up building, so some of the sister stuff, I had a viewer just send me the sisters half of piety and pain, along with another box of battle sisters and similar. Very, very kind of them. Uh, Stu sent me an entire chaos army. Uh, loads of stuff like that. And some of it has been project based that I've had to paint and build as well. And that detracts from stuff I'm actually buying. So I'm falling behind with the stuff I'm picking up from where people have sent me stuff, which is wonderful. I don't, I don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth. I think it's fantastic that people are willing to be so generous and help me out on my Warhammer journey to become the world's number one fan almost. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that also detracts from it a little bit. So let me know if you think I went a bit mad in the comments section below. Um, some of this was a Volk or two. Actually, I sold three Volks last year. Um, they're actually way up post-pandemic, so that was a whoopsie. Let me know in the comment section below. I've been Vince, and I'll see you all soon. Ta-ta for now.